So right here, this is snake shed. So do you ever wonder why snakes shed their skin or why your pet snake is having problems shedding their skin? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna help you guys solve those problems on how to get perfect sheds just like this. My name is Nick Pulaski. Ever since I was young, I've had two passions, wildlife and filmmaking. My goal is to combine those two passions to make wildlife content. My passion for wildlife and my collection of exotic species is constantly growing. Come follow along as I pursue my goals of educating, inspiring, exploring, and conserving wildlife, all while having fun. Seeing the beauty of our natural world. So this right here is a snake shed from one of my adult ball python females. And oh my gosh, look at this. It's a nice full piece. It's so rewarding when you get one of these. And that's how you know that you're keeping good husbandry and everything's going well and they're growing properly, everything like that. And there's no problems whatsoever. So this is totally great. So sometimes too, I mean, I will say just as a disclaimer, sometimes too, there are bad sheds and snakes and there's nothing wrong. So that's a common quirk. There could be something like maybe how they were shedding it off and everything like that, where they'll start flaking it off instead of getting full pieces. And that's totally fine. It's just when there's consistently bad sheds, that's when you know that your husbandry something is off or something for the matter with the health of the animal. This right here is my Woma Python shed. And as you can see, it's one full piece again. And you can see the head is right here. And that's where they start beginning their shedding process. And then it just kind of inverts like a sock and it just goes unraveling down their body until they fully peel the piece of the shed skin off. So she, like I said, she is growing absolutely rapidly. And that's common with younger snakes that are constantly growing. They're constantly going to be shedding their skin. Some do it even twice a month. And once one shed cycle finishes, a new one begins right after that. So it's an endless cycle. And this is all part of the process a healthy growing snake will go through throughout their lifetime. So the average time it takes a snake to shed their skin is normally between 7 to 14 days. So between that cycle, it's between the time that they start dulling out, or what I call the blue stage, as I can show you right here. This is one of my snakes turning blue. You can see with the eyelids, they kind of turn to like an opaque silver color or a blue color. It's like a sky blue. But anyways, they kind of go blind in this phase and they just kind of chill out and just kind of don't want to move or anything like that. They will go off of feed sometimes at this time usually. Some of my snakes will stay on feed during this time. But for the most part, I don't even bother offering because I know nine times out of 10, they normally will not eat. From the stage of them dulling out to the stage of them actually shedding their skin in full, that's the time frame it takes normally between that range of seven to 14 days for them to shed out their skin. On average, a healthy growing snake will shed at least once a month. Sometimes when they're babies, I have had them shed twice a month. And with proper care and conditions for the snake, that's how you get these full pieces just like these. And the snake will shed them off with ease. And when the snake starts consistently flaking off pieces of shed skin, and not having these full shed pieces, that's when you know you have something wrong either with the health of the animal or the husbandry of the enclosure. So to combat these problems, it's good to double check and research again what the animal conditions are and where the levels should be, the temperature and humidity. And then also what you need to do is you need to make sure that you're keeping those levels at a consistent rate for them so they can shed their skin. Now with that being said, it's also good to have accessories in there sometimes too for them. That way they can shed off with like either rubbing against a rock or a log. Sometimes that'll also help the animal shed off their skin. As well as another tip that I have is using a humid hide. So it's actually a hide that you can kind of put like either moss balls or even paper towel and dampen them and have the snake just kind of chill in there while they're dulling out and it helps them actually shed out with ease. Now if you're in between stages right now where the snake is still trying to shed off skin from a previous shed, what I would do is I would actually put them in a soaking box and just kind of let them chill there for a good 15 to 20 minutes and then after that just kind of help him massage the skin off. You don't want to pull it off, you want to massage it off gently. And then after you do that the snake will have the shed fully off and then it will go into the next cycle and hopefully it'll be a better shed the next time and a good indicator that a snake is about to go into shed is they will normally go off of food like I said now some of my snakes they always have an appetite no matter what the time of the day is what time of the year it is or what time of the cycle they're in for their shedding and others will be like hey I'm about to go into shed I'm gonna mellow out a little bit and just kind of chill so you don't have to worry about feeding me which is totally cool actually one of my red tailed green rats right here who is all fired up right now as you can see what's up buddy so he actually just shed out perfectly so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take the shed skin out of his cage right now just as part of the cleaning process because I'm about to clean their cages anyway all right and as you can see one full piece right here it kind of he kind of actually went to the bathroom as he was 
uh, exiting his skin, as you can see at the bottom. But yeah, one full piece right here. So that's awesome. That's what I aim for here is trying to make them have perfect sheds all the time. And right after they shed, they look absolutely vibrant like my Woma Python here. She is looking absolutely incredible as well as getting absolutely big. And I cannot believe the amount of growth that she's gone through in the time that I've had her. But I hope you guys learned something today. Let me know down in the comments if you did or if you guys have any questions. As well as if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you guys soon.